It's the quietest month on the real estate calendar, but the Sydney market is still strong if this house at Manly is a guide. It's a great spot and the, the land value just increases every year. Indeed, the value of land across New South Wales has gone up 11% in one year. In some Sydney suburbs, including Manly, it's gone through the roof. Willoughby on Sydney's North Shore went up the most, increasing by 37% in the year to July. There's new transport interchange being built there, and so that's generated a lot of interest in the market there. Land values at Bankstown showed the next biggest rise around 30%, followed by Hornsby, the Hillshire, Canterbury, Marrickville and Warringah. Regional areas also rose. Land values at Gilgandra shot up 30% and Newcastle 10%. Far from suppressing demand though, higher land values merely reflect a booming market. Given the fact that when people are ready to pay for something, then it's worth whatever people are ready to pay. The bad news, of course, is as your land value increases, so do your rates and taxes. The important thing from a rating and taxing perspective is that the valuations are made properly and so that the system works fairly. The most expensive land in the state is now Wallara, where the median property value is $1.4 million. At the other extreme, many regional areas like Cobar and Broken Hill have fallen in value by up to 10%. The lowest median land value is just $1,200 around Wilcannia. Ann Barker, ABC News.